Hello, today we're going to go ahead and make some baby art for any nursery. Uh, you can use it to make any theme. Uh, my theme for my nursery was an ocean theme, and I had a lot of fun making that for my son, a lot of different uh, undersea creatures. In this case, we're going to do something for a garden, and we're going to do some little friendly little bugs you might find in a garden. The uh, easiest thing that I do is I go on my print shop, and I find different types of artwork that I like, in this case a butterfly with flowers. And you know, and you can it don't have to be like this. They have a lot of variety out there, so just take what you like, hold it up to the glass, and you can see automatically see through it and trace it. I use just a standard pencil, nothing fancy, no art pencils or anything, just a basic pencil from Walmart. Then take it, flip it back over, and I stick it to my canvas. And then when I'm done, I get an artwork kind of like that. Don't worry if you smudge it. That's bound to happen. It's just the nature of pencil. And then I sit down and I pick the colors I want to paint. And I just use a very basic acrylic paint. In this case, I'm going to use a metallic green. And um, the paints are very inexpensive. Um, a large bottle is, you know, $3.77, depending on if you're going with a matte or a gloss. Some of the cheaper ones are about 57 cents. So there's a big variety. And I like to use different styles and shades, pearls, glitters, things like that. And there's no wrong or right answer. It's your nursery. Do it any way that you feel you like to. And in this case, I like to put it on just a little bit thick, just so I get a really good, rich color. And as you can see, this is a nice metallic green. About like that. And you may not like it that thick, and that's okay too. And, you know, don't paint over the lines. You're going to need the lines later, so just kind of leave those. You're just basically painting kind of like you would color in any coloring book. About like that. We'll put that aside and I'll show you one that I've just that I've gotten done with the basic painting. Now once I get the basic painting, as you can see, the little lines are still there waiting to be drawn in. But before I do that, one of my next steps that I like to do is something very simple. I like to start putting a few little embellishments here and there on my painting. In this case, over the red I usually add, I'm going to add some glitter, the glitter paint, and I like to put that one on thick there. I wouldn't worry about the fact that it does look kind of like a milky red glitter. That will go away as it dries. And again, I just fill it up to the line, and I tend to do that rather thick as well, just until I get a really nice glitter. That way it's a little bit fancier, a little more fanciful, more like a storybook. Something I think a little girl would probably just really enjoy. About like that. Very nice. And here's one that's already got all of its the glitter on there. I did the body with some glitter in the black. And of course the flowers have glitter and a metallic green for the leaves again. And this is when I decided to go back over it with my pen and just put in the, the lines. That way it has its full look. And I use again an inexpensive pen, pen from Walmart. You know, this came from like a pack of four. I try not to spend too much if I can possibly help it and still have a really good look. And even if you feel like, you know, maybe something didn't come out quite straight enough, I do add on other embellishments. As you noticed, all my bugs have these little Google eyes, which are just stickers. And they were about a dollar for, like, a ton of these little stickers. So I thought that would make my bugs look good, so that's what I decided to use. But putting on the little embellishments, I love to do that just to give it more of a pop. And I use different little stickers and stuff like that. 
this would be a good example right here, you know, because we are talking about a garden. That gives it just a little bit more character of a more of a garden feel. And here's one that I have finished. And I see that I did the, all the stickers on there. I even added some fake snow to make some little clouds in the sky and a little bit of cloth ribbon, mesh ribbon that's going to be the wings. Very simple, just a little bit of glue here in a little spot so it has like a nice little soft look to it. And then I bought it in an expensive frame from Walmart. Very simple, comes apart very easily and I slid a piece of scrapbook paper in it. Very, very nice. And you can buy any of these supplies at any craft store. You know, at any place, you know, any place that sells a little craft paints, Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, there's so many out there and you can find them at any of those places without it costing very much. And if you do happen to like what you see here, please look me up on Etsy. And I hope to see you there. Thank you.